SVTV Phoenix. News 15 at 5 starts now. Tensions are running high at a Mesa airport this afternoon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mary Ellen Resendez. A Marine pilot flying a Harrier fighter jet was forced to make an emergency landing at Williams Gateway Airport. The pilot was traveling from Yuma and was reportedly practicing touch-and-go maneuvers when he needed to land. On impact, two of his tires tore open. Beyond that, there was no damage to the aircraft. The pilot is okay. No word yet on why he needed to land so urgently. Air traffic controllers want student pilots banned from Sky Harbor Airport. They say fewer small aircrafts in Sky Harbor's busy airspace would make things safer for everybody. Controllers also say that 12 U.S. airports already have such restrictions, but the FAA does not agree. It says that since the airport receives federal money, it must accept all users. And the FAA adds that the 12 airports with student pilot bans had more complex airspaces than Sky Harbor. And that's why the exceptions were made. Governor Hall will not be getting out of the hospital today. She is expected to stay at Good Samaritan until at least tomorrow. Hall is recovering from a kidney infection. She may return to the office part-time as soon as Tuesday or Wednesday. Pharmacies on ASU's campus are getting ready for the spring rush to get this little pill. It's the morning after pill. The pill prevents unwanted pregnancies if used up to 72 hours after sex. Each spring break, the campus pharmacists say the number of students looking to purchase the pill because of un they had unexpected sex spikes. Spring break starts tomorrow. Ulta 3 salons work to fight breast cancer today. Hairstylists snipped and styled to raise money for the disease that affects thousands of women in our country. Each year, the salon donates profits made today for breast cancer research and to support breast cancer patients through the Why Me organization.